Okay, so yeah, for those people who missed out, yeah, here's the recording. So I think first thing first, after we get done the check-in, I think uh first thing we're going to do on the money break, money go breakdown. So what I need you all to do, right, is you can go into slide 8 to click into the link. We'll have around maybe uh, five minutes, I think around five minutes for you all to actually fill up the go breakdown because of you already have your LC, um, LC planning done, right? So what I need you all to do is go to the sheet here. I will share my screen again. Wait, I think I share the entire screen a bit easier. Okay, so y'all can go into this uh link here. Yeah, I think it's like the my uh NYV database, but it's not fully yet, fully developed yet. So what I need y'all to do is go to the slide, uh, go to the tab monthly really go, and then put down your monthly go on every funnel, which is like list, accept, approve, realize, finish, complete from month to month. So that nationally we can really know how what is the goals for each LC and then we can actually track accordingly. Okay. So I think I'll play the song. Yeah, I'll play the OGB song. Then you all can fill up. I will I will stop once the, the song is done. Okay. Yeah, you all can start to fill up. Okay, so yeah, I think after you fill up the goal, right? Uh, another thing that to inform to you all is uh, yeah, something is so sorry because I think I promised you all to actually come up with the youth survey output, right? But I think I need to delay it to this week weekend. I try to actually do the analysis by this weekend to actually come up with it because I think this week we spent a lot of time in onboarding our EST and we haven't had the time to do. But I think the very concrete concrete report is not yet out yet. But I think a very quick analysis on right now. A quick overview of the top four value proposition that we analyzed after based on the global, uh, not global, the <laughs> national response, right? This is the top four thing, which I think is something that everyone can look into it. Is mainly people are looking into all these four value proposition, and the bottom floor is the below one. So, whenever you bring out the value proposition, might actually do promoting. I think not only based on this part, but is to really look into your market people. What are their preference? What are the value proposition that usually attract to your market? Then only promote on that. Yeah, so I think this is just a short one in case that you are waiting for the youth response. Yeah, so I think after that, we're also going to come up with the response analysis and also come up with the uh, more easier analysis to, for you all to actually do your own analysis. But right now, I think I will suggest you all to actually uh, start to look into the data first so that you can get into understand on what are the youth looking for uh, roughly. So yeah, I think that's the entire thing. And other than that, right, we're going to go into another part, which is customer journey mapping. So this will be the R&D I need everyone to pay pay full attention on this because, uh, okay, I think not to bring out, uh, not to do a very drama opening, but I want to say, okay, I'm sure that everyone know about these things, right? GTCM, go target channel message. Everyone know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, since you know, what is this? Jan, what is this? For target marketing. For oh, target marketing, you sure? <laughs> yeah, go yeah. GTC. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we do have target market, target marketing here, but uh, it's not mainly on target marketing, but I think it's like more on when you plan the uh, marketing campaign, we use these things mainly because uh, we have the, like, for example, we plan a campaign like attraction booth. We will set or like we do digital marketing, any campaign we'll do, they will have their own GTCM. Then we have their own goal, target, channel, and message. Yeah, definitely, I think this will support on target marketing because I think we emphasize a lot, right? But I want to talk a lot in how you design a campaign, how you actually plan out the customer journey mapping. So before we go into that things, right, this is something that everyone already know, but I want to talk about another thing, which is called customer journey mapping. So before we go into deeper, I want to ask you all, do you all know how actually PNG do recruitment? Yeah, PNG. I I'm sure that everyone know PNG. So when you actually um going to PNG, like usually a company do recruitment. What is the things that you will go? Ah, they come out just promote. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're not wrong. True. Okay. Other than that, after that, what what you all do? Yeah, they want you all to do what? Ah, smart. Eh, come out just promote. Yeah. 
Okay, CEO and you. Okay, after CEO and you, what what y'all do? Train form. Okay, train and form. Then after that, you go through like those kind of things, right? Interview. Yeah, intern. Not as so fast interview first. So what I want to mention here is okay, this is not official one. This is from my personal experience. I go into PNG and I I fail, but yeah, it's fine. But I think that um there will be a lot a lot of actually um, what is it called? A lot of initiatives they actually been doing, which is like a series of it. Like they have do digital marketing. Definitely, that in you can see their PNG Instagram. Like they have a lot of digital marketing things. They have their you are penetration. I mean, they're going to uh university. They also get like people like get some of the event. For example, one of it they actually do, um, they do acquisition event. They do my ideas. They also have to do other events. They collaborate with other company to make these things happen. Other than that, I think also word of mouth campaign. So I think for those like current PNG uh people, they also like doing they participate in P, like CEO and you, they're also promoting about these things. But I think after that, they're also going to go into PNG CEO and you. And I think after that, you're going to sign up in the PNG career and then do online assessment, internet assessment, and internal work agreement. So you can see like a series of these things here is where we actually design the customer journey, it looks like. And I think personally experience in this thing. And then I feel like in a way, when I reflected back, I only know, oh, there's so many things that actually they are doing they, they have been doing. So when we actually get people, customers to actually we want to reach the end, right? I think the main thing is the main key things I want to bring to you is if you actually view through is similar with like Isaac opportunity. This is all the attraction event. Attraction, 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 attraction. And after that, after you go to PNG, PNG in CO and you, which you can see it as Isaac consultancy space or any kind of sort of info session is consideration, 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 consideration. Because at the end, their goal is like, I want to bring you into intern. Then if you actually reflect back to the customer flow, you can see like this. We have this, all this event is to get people to become their leads. So their leads will actually come into the PNG CEO and you, which is one of the um, key events, the very key strategy for them. And after that, they apply. After they apply, they will actually go through the, after they apply already, right? Then they will see whether interview pass or not. They will go to accept. So it's like online assessment, interview assessment. Then lastly, approval, whether they want to sign the work agreement. So if you actually look into the workforce, right? The hardest part from, um, some of the some of them, the hardest part is actually, they spend most of the time in all of the area. But I think for Isaac, if you actually look through the previous, previous data, the things that we always face difficulties, which is the final, is usually on this and up, up, apply, right? Because I think this is the two final that people usually, they will drop up. Or either the conversion is too low, or either we not get enough um, outreach. So what I want to mention here is, first thing first, we want to tackle on the conversion and sold outreach, but how? Second thing is, there is no one step in generating converting leads. So what I mean here is like, you're not going to expect them to do a digital marketing, you tell them, so sign this form, and then they will sign this form. No. They will have a lot, a lot of things that they need to do. That is not just one event. That's why this is where you have to plan out the customer journey mapping and the plan out what is the things that you need to do. So back to GTCM, it's not only one thing, but you have a lot, a lot of GTCM happening in each initiative. Digital marketing have their own GTCM. Uh, World of our campaign have their own GTCM. Go into anything that also have their own um campaign to actually tackle on it. So what I want to do here, right, is to do a quick brainstorming. So if right now, I think target, we actually talked a lot already. We talked a lot about target marketing last time. Message, you can analyze it based on the, yeah, the research that we have. So right now, I think the goal, I want to focus on this too. We have this, we have applied. So right now, what channel we have? What is the channel that we can use to penetrate or to actually um, get the people come into, to achieve this? I think we can focus on this first. So how we actually get this? I think everyone can like brainstorm a bit on share a bit. What, what are the things that usually we do to get leads? What is the channel that we have? Okay, you are. I see you are. Nice. You are. Yeah. Proud, right? Proud of your you are, UPM. Booth. Okay, booth, I think. um Booth, I think it's more apply, right? Physical booth. Okay. We have a uh, group chat. Okay, community group. Community group. I think community group. Is it? Is it? Is, is it what you mentioned? Community group. Oh, email blasting. Ah, email blasting. Okay, email blasting. Social media. I was. So, I think I put it as digital, digital marketing. 
I think email also considered digital marketing, but it's more on another, I think it's another channel, like it's fine. Social media, uh, oh yeah, I just not mentioned already. Marketing event, I think, yeah, marketing event, I think it's like PR event, uh, which also include on AWA, PR or slash AWA event. And then, uh, word of mouth, ambassador, yeah, ambassador, word of mouth, and um, slash word of mouth. Uh, lecture bashing, yeah. The very key event that we do in physical or virtual, right? Like, sure, I'm saying, yeah. Okay, matching mania, matching mania. I long time didn't heard of this word, but why is matching mania? Oh, it's like more on. Uh, can you describe it? Because I think I not that confident. Oh my god. Or oh, anyone know? I know it's, yeah. uh, it's consultancy space in a group, but then we initiate the interview on the spot. Oh, okay. It's like, um, I come to consultancy space and then I directly go into interview together. With, like, it's like alignment with IGB so that they can directly interview. Uh. I think I heard of this. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I think it's a good, it's a good idea. I didn't actually expect these things. Okay. Wow. Like, okay. Anything else? Right now, I think you have physically, right? You also have like, um, you will put banner and slash flyers or slash poster. Yeah, who knows? Okay. This is something that you might get, um, get, uh, used to get this also. And then anything else? I think last time, this is a GCP from, uh, from EJ. Last time they bring to me, it's like they did something called bus talk. Yeah. And that is basically that they go to the bus and then to pitch them while they are waiting. Any anything? I think roughly it's like this, right? And then for uh, for this part, we have physical booth, we have community group, we have matching mania. I think we also have like um uh, info session. Info session. We might also have um what is it called? Um consultancy space. It's like uh, you know, like people sell sell what uh, they sell the invest. Is it called investment? Uh, in Chinese called Baosian, in English called insurance. Oh my God. Okay. They, are, they sell those insurance. They're going to go, go do in a one, one to one consultancy as well. Like, this is how you do also. And we're going to, it, it's something that effective. And then I think also cold call, you might do these things. It's not only happening partner, but yeah, we do have these things. So if you can see, right, there's a lot of things happening here. And it's very scattered. But how can we actually make it into a journey that people can actually see or we can actually nurture them effectively by understanding what customer are looking for and what customer here see and when they actually look into an initiative, how can we actually optimize all of them to achieve leads and apply? So I think that's where we actually bring into that how can you connect all initiatives together? That's where we actually bring to customer journey mapping. So I will actually um play this video. If you cannot hear let me know. Yeah. What's up, it's Jamal and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how to turn your leads from a complete stranger to a loyal, loyal customer using a proven process called customer journey mapping. Because if they're not willing to take a journey with you, uh, they're not willing to pay you anything <laughs> and your business is gonna fail, all right? We don't want that to happen. To follow along, go download HubSpot's free customer journey templates from our description below before we start. And while you're down there, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video. HubSpot defines the customer journey map as a visual representation of a customer's experience with the company that provides an understanding into the needs and concerns of customers, which directly motivate or inhibit their actions. In other words, you can almost picture it like HubSpot's famous flywheel model, but laid out flat, like a step-by-step -step map. From there, you can predict each step a customer takes, spotting moments that drive them towards the goal, as well as obstacles that'll get in the way. This customer-centric approach applies to marketing, sales, and service. The good news is that you don't have to do all of them at once. To reach the top of the customer journey, the first thing you need to do is assemble the right stakeholders who can map out each phase. Depending on which segment of your business you're mapping, this can mean people from your marketing, sales, or service teams. In some cases, you'll want to align folks from all departments by including them in the mapping process. In fact, this is pretty essential, since the transitions from one department to the next is often where customers lose their way. The other critical step at the start of any customer journey is to choose your player. This is done by identifying a buyer persona to focus on for each map. 
If you're not certain of your company's buyer personas, start by checking any existing business plans or marketing documents that may already identify them. If no buyer personas exist, you can quickly generate them using HubSpot's free online persona generator tool. Now you're ready to press start. This data is wrong every freaking time. That's a good time. You'll see that the journey has three major steps, awareness stage, consideration stage, and decision stage. These are the basic stages that every prospect goes through on their way to becoming a buyer. For each stage, you'll want to define the following. What is the customer thinking or feeling? What is the customer's action? What or where is the buyer researching? How will we move the buyer along in his or her journey? So now you can see how mapping works, but let's continue with a simple example. Imagine your business offers soccer classes for young kids. And let's assume that our buyer persona is the parent of two elementary school kids. In the awareness stage of the customer journey, the buyer may be feeling overwhelmed because they don't have anything planned to entertain the kids during an upcoming school break. To come up with ideas, the parent will likely turn to the internet. Google is the obvious first stop, but they could also go to parenting groups on Facebook. To move the buyer along at this stage, you could create a blog post titled, What to do with kids during school breaks. You could also run targeted ads on Facebook. Next comes the consideration stage, where the customer is thinking about signing their kids up for soccer, but needs more information. We answer the same questions as the awareness stage, but further down the customer journey path. Parents might be feeling concerned that their kids don't like athletics, or perhaps classes don't fit into their work schedule. The customer is now searching for more info and is hopefully doing it on your site. Your homepage should answer the customer's questions, in this case by explaining how soccer helps kids develop physical and social skills. You might also consider adding a pencil banner that calls out multiple locations and class times available. The consideration stage is also where tools and FAQs or live chat features come into play. And last comes the all important decision stage, where the shopper will hopefully make a purchase, but that's far from guaranteed. In fact, research shows that a vast majority of shoppers decided not to purchase at the stage. One study found a 70% cart abandonment rate across dozens of e-commerce reports. That doesn't even count shoppers who never start a cart. So how can we turn shoppers into buyers for our kids' soccer classes? Let's use the journey map template to lead the way. By now, the customer is invested, having spent time in the consideration stage. They're probably feeling eager to solve the problem and move on with their day. They're also probably wondering about things like price, which is why you wanna get them to your shopping page with prices easily visible and sign up just one click away. To close the deal, you might wanna offer discounts or create urgency by letting the customer see how many open slots are left in the class or a countdown timer showing how many days until school vacation starts. You'll know what works best for your market. What's important is having a structured process that you can follow to make sure all of these possibilities come to light. That's the magic of customer journey mapping. Wish I had a little magic wand. Okay, so I think, yeah, since we, I think we are lacking of time, I cannot ask to do a quick sharing, but I think I just go a quick I hope that you are still att attentive. I want to be interactive with you all, but it's fine. So I think if you actually see the things quite similar, right? What I mentioned here is that first thing first, if you see these things, you'll see uh, a bit things is similar. It's like Isaac is like, we have, um, if OGV is like, we have marketing, we have sales department, we have CXP department, if you realize something very similar. And then second thing is, I think what they mentioned here is that, uh, how we actually connect all this all this journey is important that's why i think they also mentioned more on a lot of part how we usually where the customer actually um they will turn over is like why we actually transition from one department from another department which this bring up the importance of why we need to align or synergy for both department because imagine that people actually come to this they, they become a list ready and the process time from them being nurtured is very important later i talk about in the physical marketing that side so I think this will be the things that I want to share to you all, where it will look something like this. Later on, I will uh, share a so-called tool, but it's like how we actually utilize this thing is, well, we're going to use this to actually plan out like what are the customers that need to do and why is the customer go at that point. For example, that you can see, right, awareness, consideration, all those, I think it's like similar with the eyes that we have a lot of stages. And then you can get to understand from each from each initiative, like maybe at the end, this initiative is like, I do word of mouth or I do flyers. What is the experience of customer having right now? So this will allow you to un further understand on being more customer obsessed. Where is the time that they are have the highest? Why is, when is the time that they actually have the highest interest? Why is the time that you have low interest? And from when to when, what you should do? And after that, 
you you only connect with your business goal and KPI and then look into what you you can do. So I think I will go into the uh, not not this. I think I will share a new link because I think this uh the OGT special I shared in a moment. Yeah. Uh okay. Okay, I think I send the link in the chat. So I will stop sharing my screen and then share again the screen. So what, I, uh, what I'm going to do here is, not now, but I will share how I'm going to utilize these things. It's also, I think, um, one of my strategy is to actually implement like a portfolio, but I think right now is also the first time that I implement, right? So um, you can see here is like, okay, uh, you focus on the first part. I think the second part is like, just duplicate, I get I want to delete. Uh. So what I'm going to, like, for example, there will be uh, things for you to actually map out from customer, right? They start the journey. At the start, what the need experience from start until the end. So what I mentioned here is like, maybe I want to do lecture bashing. A lot of people that they, they're going to physical right now, physical trend, they want to do lecture bashing because they have physical class. So people might face the question that, oh, if I do lecture bashing, I want them to sign the leads form. But at the end of the journey, they don't sign the leads form. What happened or what will I do? Because at the end, you also think like more on, there's no one, I want to mention is that there's no one event that tell people to sign up the list form. That's not, that doesn't how, that, that's not how it works out because right now, if you tell them to sign up the list form, they're just like, oh, why I need to sign up? I can just walk out from the class, those kind of things, right? So what if I change the message into, actually, I want to do a lecture bashing. So I will go into that. I not pitch a 10 minute about Isaac and not pitch about 15 minutes about what is the Isaac opportunity, but tell them, hey, actually we, we have this, this opportunity. And after that, um, there will be a booth I'm putting outside of the class. So if you're actually interested to looking to build your CV, interested in actually developing yourself, feel free to go visit them. So the end objective of the attraction is also to bring the people go to physical book so that you can convert them, so that you can actually bring them into conversion. Yeah, I think the other part, this one you don't going to refer, like I just want to bring attention on. So if you actually look through the whole entire conversion, how you actually connect it from each initiative to in each initiative, and then What's the initiative that you bring people to consideration that is much more important? So that's why we actually put attention on at the end of the objective of this and en uh, entire attraction. Everything that you do is about how much people that you can convert them to lead so that they can be nurtured in either physical both, in either consulting space, or either you're doing co co call, like what you mentioned in the channel just now. And after that, after you do consideration, what you want them to do. So I think this entire thing, right? If I go by like uh sequence by sequence this is how you actually connect it by mapping up the customer journey then i go from top down right is you can see all of them the gtm is here there is a goal what i want to achieve in my business goal the kpi the t is like my target uh, after i have it what is the um target the targeted customer and what will they do what is the customer goal the c is the channel, which is like more on what is the channel that you utilize. You utilize your, your, your network, you utilize your lecture, you utilize your physical book, wherever you utilize. Last, I think lastly, is the app, which is the message. When you customer message, what are you planning to do? What is the, what is the activity that you do? What is the value proposition that you want to tell them? Lastly, when you map out all these things, then you only have that your person in charge, who is the marketer, who is the one who actually doing sales, who is the one who actually they are talking, right? And then you evaluate whether your effort and impact is it um, is this something that uh, you should focus on and what you can actually expedite or should hack the process or what can actually make the customer to make decision towards your organizational goal? So I think I will stop here to a very quick and at first before I go further on. But yeah, you have any question on this? Oh, need access. Oh, oh so sorry, so sorry. Hey, it's edited, it's accessed, it's allowed to access. Yeah, should be allowed to access already. I think you can change your email. Yeah, I think experience here is like you can read like more on what, for example, the excitement of the customer when actually doing this, this, these things. So how would the customer actually they feel? If they actually feel they are very high interest, like their experience is very good, then you put why actually this experience is very good and then only evaluate on how can you test this as an opportunity for you to get them to what's what you want. So I think uh after after this, the reason that actually why I also implement like a tool also is not to create a lot of tracker. But I think we're going to use these things for a long term in the future is like to collect the initiative of every marketing uh every initiative that done by every else 
you're going to duplicate your tag here. And after that, we're going to collect a series of like event and GCP icon documentation so that in the future, they can know which one is the part that I can utilize the most and to map out my own customer journey in the future. So I think what I need y'all to do is to have duplicate your duplicate the tag and then to plan out um your own LC marketing um uh, your customer journey mapping and then you can evaluate a marketing from a marketing evaluation here. And then after that, uh we're going to track like nationally nationally, we're also going to use this to actually see um how can you customize your marketing more effectively by customizing GTCM for each different touch point. Uh, Lenjun just want to clarify for the experience one to five, right? How how should we rate that one? Mm, I think it's more on uh okay. I show uh back to the picture here. I think I wait, uh, I share my entire screen again. And to switch the tab. Okay. I think I share my entire screen. You can see these things, right? The experience here is like one to five, like five is like the highest, lowest is like the one. So I would tell I would prefer y'all to break in more on the customer interest. How is the customer interest right now when I actually look at these things? For example, when I randomly walk across the street, I see a poster there talking about Isaac. How much am I having interest on it? Or if I am being I'm, I'm eating halfway, someone engaged me personally, then asked me, have you heard about Isaac? how much I have the interest right now. Yeah. So this would be something that you can read according to the interest of the customer. I think I can put down here, customer interest. Yeah. So whether are they really interest, interested or are they very low interest right now? So you can, based on these things to actually read. You get it? Yep, yep. Okay. okay. Thank yeah. you. But I think uh in case that uh you still not so sure how these things work, you can uh approach me again. But I think uh mainly I will going to use this to actually evaluate um the marketing effectiveness and also the sales effectiveness from here. Lah. So uh I think the most important part is make sure you be very clear with the breakdown. For example, my attraction list, my attraction goal is I want to get 200 leads in total for this winter. Then you will break down like, for example, this channel, this entire channel, why is the, why is the KPI? This, why is the KPI that I want to get from here? This KPI, why is the, I want to get from here? So you can really break down on, from each initiative, why is the effort versus impact? Why is the thing I will expect from this entire initiative so I can get that amount of leads? Then after that, you only can evaluate whether is this something that very effective. Same thing go for consideration. Why is the apply that I expect from physical book? Why is the apply that I expect from cold call? Why is the, why, how many apply that I expect from consultancy space? All these things should be very clear in your mind. Okay, so I think that's the very quick uh on customer journey mapping. But what I want to talk more is on another part, which is like the trend that we usually going to uh, talk about here, right? Which is basic marketing. So I think, uh, okay, wait, very quick one. Who right now is it every LC already implemented physical marketing? For your LC, is it yes or no? Like you have physical marketing initiative. Yes for Hui. No for V. Okay. Plan to. Okay. Who? Plan to. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. So I think um since most of your uh, have physical marketing, I think for V. Okay, I couldn't recognize them. You can let me know which LC you are you can, uh, in the chat. I can I can see whether I think I can support you other than physical marketing. So I, I don't know. Oh, okay, so sorry. Okay, so I think um very quick one why I talk about physical marketing because right now this is like the trend that we usually on board because right now it's like an endemic phase and then we will try to do like physical action managing. We try to do like more on physical booth, all those things, right? So how we actually determine a campaign to success is same thing when we actually evaluate on these three funnel, the main main objective of each funnel, like for leads, I want to convert strangers to visitors to be nurtured. This is the main main objective is to convert strangers so that they can become our leads so that we can nurture them so that we can do sales. For apply is I want to get the people who actually come from stranger to leads. I want to get them to apply a project. This is why actually how the objective of doing sales right. I think I want know approval to get them paid, but it's not that simple, definitely. So I think what I put here is that at the end, your 
attraction your whole entire things attraction customer journey right you should include these things which is like more on what's the sales initiative that you want to do and then lastly make sure that put like make sure they actually register through this form because that is where also we collect their um data information if not if like they miss out the list they are going to apply and then drop off from apply what will happen is like you're not going to have any things anywhere to actually con contact them or to actually understand uh them further on from the list scoring yeah it's also important for you to actually get lead form so that you can do the list scoring right and second thing is like if, imagine that you're doing physical book some of the people they might skip through the list they might actually maybe randomly organically they walk through and then they go there and then they do sales for them and they might not fill out the list form so what you need to do is to make sure you have at least a very quick of interest form like maybe a spreadsheet or like a paper for them to put down their contact so you can contact contact back them and then to evaluate them and to do lead scoring by doing sales and lastly for approval is you want to get them paid but the i think the most thing is how you align with IG. i talk more about that things so i think at the end right most of the frequent asked question in physical marketing how you can actually do it effectively is effective physical book first thing is how you consider yourself like consider the physical book effective right is from marketing side from the lead side right it's about all about how you actually get organic and inorganic in organic traffic so the question come to you is like how you can make sure consistent traffic is coming in and out of the book and then this is where also like more on you not just have your sales team there in the physical booth to doing sales but you also have your marketing team continuously to pull people come to the the booth so that they can do chemical that we can convert the, they can be converted there second thing on the r d and also training which is more on the sales part so before even I share that all of you all know what is sales audit, right? You all do sales audit, you all do sales r and you all teach them how to pitch. But not just that, it's also during event whereby when you all, how you all do firefighting, when like as a VP, right, you go there, you heard about your member do um sales pitching. And directly you get to understand about what is the things they're lacking, whether are you bringing out right position, what is the things that you can improve further on. You directly firefight on that space so that you will not waste the entire physical booth, like maybe two or three hours that no, it's that, that doesn't have any apply. Yeah, because at the end, it might waste a lot of time in do, doing physical booth. So you waste a lot of effort. You need to be there to actually fight, fight with them so that you can make sure the effectiveness is there. And also, if nobody are coming into the, what is it called? The booth, think about how you can fight, fight in getting organic and inorganic traffic by having initiatives like to pitch or to actually get attraction any kind of attention that you can get. Lastly, after the event, you track and review. Then I think the last last thing is no matter what you do in the no matter what you do in like list, no matter what you do in here, you make sure you do data collection so that you can nurture them. And then you can do list scoring for further nurturing initiative. And lastly, lastly thing is process time, process time, process time, which is very important. Because after you do physical like the best timing for you to nurture them is 24 hours is the best after you do the physical um both with them so which means by like uh after they come to the event they sign up the list form or they actually fill up the interest form within 24 hours you should be contacting them to ask them and to start to nurture them already because that's the part that they have the highest momentum or highest what is it called uh intention to get to become your list yeah so i think that's the part that i want to emphasize on and other than that right the things that you need to consider when you actually do physical marketing is also all these things your operation, people, and finance. Yeah, a lot of people that you're facing on the people issue, right? Which I think I just give a very quick picture. You need to consider about your timeline, floor plan. Floor plan is more on the physical booth, how you want to put, the, how you want to arrange the things so that it's more strategically. I'll talk more about that in the tips and tricks later on. Content, which is like props and deco. In previously, we have like banners and then I think like very colorful SDG box that attract people to come. What makes you different from the normal, normal booth? Packages, later I'll talk more in the tips and tricks. Partnership, which is more on like what you can get people attack, what you can get attraction. For example, maybe you get uh influencer to come. Or another, I think a very simple one, you get those past maybe that already experienced maybe and get them that so that they can be the one to actually share their experience towards your future customer. So I think this is something that you can do differently. And also other than that, people, which is concerned about your OC team, what is the shift? so that you can make sure along the way there is people who always take care of the booth. And then R&D and training, which I think I just mentioned already, routine, which is like what you need to do from time to time. 
lastly, budget investment from finance perspective. I think this is very direct here to discuss on. So I think a very quick one on tricks and tricks, right? First thing first, when you actually do on physical marketing, I think not just physical marketing, but generally um, your whole entire attraction, make sure you have a personal goal for everyone so that every person that has shift, they have their own goal that how many leads I need to get, how many apply I need to get. Then they will be driven by their goal. Second thing is the date, time, and location matters, which is like more on, you really have to do your market research, understand where is the part that you need, need to do physical, physical marketing and why. Break an example, you're not going to do like this, like you're not going to do a physical book when people are not, like when people are actually having peak of study or when people are actually having, uh, what is it called? They go to pray. They're not have in the school usually. Usually they actually have like virtual class or what. That's why I think this is why you also have to really consider which is the day, which is the time that you have the highest um, highest traffic. So along the one to one, I think I do mention a lot of time, like I suggest to y'all, when y'all start a semester, orientation week is the, the week that people usually come a lot of traffic, right? Utilize that timing well and plan where is the part that you can secure. Secure orientation, maybe there's a pitching booth, there is a pitching session for you or look into where is the traffic that ha have the highest traffic, highest yeah, people that walk through. Uh. And then also listen more, which I think I just mentioned on the firefighting. Really know what your member is speaking so that you can really firefight and to change, like adapt accordingly based on what is lacking and to improve on the members as well. And then I think the last part is on the before last part, customer journey mapping, which is um customer journey on the physical book, how you want the customer to experience. I think this is like the, um from EJ is also like from the physical setting last time where they actually set like a pathway for them. They will go through this laptop and then this laptop actually that more on, they will have the objective and showcasing the like excitement, all those things. And there'll be a lucky draw and then they'll go into sales. Whether if they're not interested, interested, they can just leave. But there is a pathway for them to go through so that they will really experience the attraction phase first. So they will not randomly go to a sales and then that like, it will actually, facilitate their thought process and facilitate the customer experience. And lastly, on the packages, which is like not just randomly do um, sell them the package, but to understand what is the things that they are looking for and then sell them on the things, which this back to the market research, whether how much you understand about different customer segment and then bring on at accordingly what is the package that you want to bring to the customer. So I think for example, last time in GB, customer are very, very particular with the cost estimation. That's why I think when do the packages, what is the things that I can do to get people to know, to clarify? Like for example, I do a break, breakdown so that people can understand the cost estimation. And go back to virtual. I think these are the things that people are looking for, their pain and gain. And I need you to really understand, find their pain and gain so that you can do a more effective physical marketing. Yeah, not just physical, but everything else. And lastly, I think this is the resource that you can refer on um, during the past, yeah, past, past time in the past physical generation, you can refer. And I think that's the entire uh, list that I want to give to you all. So I will open for a very quick Q&A that you have any question. Yeah, if no, then you can send away. And then, yeah, I think a lot of information provided for you all, right? Yeah, you all can think, think about and then anything that you're not, you're not sure, you also can ask me after that, but I will just open a very quick Q&A for now. Amanda who okay. Wave from Hui. Oh, oh yeah, since uh not really from the slides itself, but then just a question. Any progress for the props and decorations? Props and decoration. Yeah, banner is specifically. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think for that side, we will, um, yeah, it's, uh, I will actually try to, uh, discuss my EST, uh, which is cat to, uh, come up with the design. And then I will announce, actually come out with, like, announce to the commission for y'all to, like, do a voting or to do feedback in this weekend, probably. Yeah, because I'm so sorry, I, I want to actually bring it here, but I think I couldn't really rush on the timeline. And then I think by latest, I can come out with the entire, uh, we will actually finalize the design by around next week and then we can start to do the quotation and to purchase on the things. It should be not very long. And after that, you can start to collect after September or at the end of last week of September. 
I think my goal is like to at least be able to rush before the last week of September because I think this is why also you do a lot of um also I'll see that I have this timeline up at the third week or fourth week of September. Yeah. But I want to rush before NLC so that whether if you couldn't recollect really those members that come to NLC, they can actually collect for you. Yeah, thanks for the question. I think I'll take a while on that. Okay. Uh yeah. Where, where, where? In booklet, physical marketing LC booklet. Okay. Oh, oh, in, in the resource, right? Yeah, yeah. Physical marketing. The first one or the second one? The uh, first one. Wait, let me see. Uh. Okay. I think P that P is two. PR involvement. Okay, I just search. Oh, this one, right? Okay, I think uh yeah, honestly I couldn't really give a very confirm answer. Let me get a let me get a clarification with uh EJ first and I actually um share it to your offline after this commission. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, I think class shop I can imagine uh, because I think in my uni also got people do class shop is like they are walking there, taking the banner and shouting the event. I mean, I'm not so sure I can do this. It's like something that is ruin the brand, ruin the branding or what. But I can think about it if you really want to. Okay, yeah, do professionally lah. Okay, so I think uh thanks for that question. I think I will uh go on first because right now we still have quite a lot of things that we want to go through. So, yeah, I think first thing first uh before. Um, you can continue to ask questions after that. Yeah, remember to actually ask in the commission group so that I can support on you because I really try to understand why things are happening. Up. And I think in the contest, I'll put it down to actually for you all to really map it out. What is the what is the journey that you all plan so that you can plan out the marketing and sales. I think also main, main thing, most important thing is to see the alignment that the synergy have to be done between marketing and sales so that when the customer process from marketing to sales, during, especially on the physical book, that is the, the all the things actually align so that the customer go through marketing where well, because the marketing is actually doing be doing like to pushing the traffic go to the go to the booth that side and then sales can actually do convert the leads directly so i think that's the entire thing so right now we're going to talk about the attraction campaign that we're going to launch in the upcoming yeah soon okay so i think right now uh the attraction campaign I, i'm assuming that everyone very familiar with this, which is called the Is Be Inspired campaign. So you can click inside the internal booklet link. Yeah. So what we're going to do is like come something similar, but I think you know what Loading, loading. Okay. So I think uh the part that we want to do here is also we want to focus on creating same thing, creating testimonial for like user so that they actually can uh share their story. It's like a brand ambassador campaign for MyB. And why we actually use that is be inspired because we are looking forward for utilizing this as our long-term, uh, long-term, what is it called? Long-term brand ambassador campaign for MyB. So I think the campaign that, how it works is like the same thing. It's like more on, they were going to go through the, but they were going to put that, like put their, stories and also have pictures and including our video is optional in the podio form and after that they'll get a referral link and then we get them as a referral to actually push for my videos and then what they're going to get is right now i think we're not going to provide like those uh, very fancy things like those uh earphone or what right i think we're going to provide um the ambassador my much which we are right now still um looking in how much we can invest but probably it's like more on the um, official my t-shirt uh. So it's that those people actually achieve like highest, the highest one, they're going to get these things. And how we actually going to do is like nationally, we're going to launch a campaign. And for home entity, which is like uh, local side, we launch it together. Like for right now, we launch it OGB. IGB, they also know these things. And what we need you all to do is to be very aware on how can you utilize this campaign to drive the effectiveness. Because I think from the past experience, from the past summer, the, effect the effectiveness of the awareness, like the outreach is that we can see a very increase of outreach. 
but we haven't really seen like a very effective conversion on how much they converted, but it do increase like how much leads that how much leads that we can actually get from this campaign. So right now, I think the support that we need is like you can I think you ought to be ready like ready to discuss with your IGV because I think the timeline is actually quite um rushy in a way. Discuss your IGV to know uh how can you utilize the previous MYB experience and then to get them to become ambassador by putting down like to putting down their stories. And then I will need you to put down your goal in the spreadsheet that you got. And then the submission management is also um same with last time, where there you can click inside the link here, which is that it looks like a spreadsheet here. Okay. Um I think Cat Heaven, Cat Heaven actually clear out the thing. Because I want to put the goal versus action. Never mind. Okay, yeah, but I copy these things. So and then after that, we will have this uh make sure you actually really understand how many goals that you plan to get your previous might be to become ambassador. And then that's where also you will start to align with IGB to get them to submit their stories. So I think I will paste the, yeah, you can try to put down the question if I have any. I'll paste the uh, go things here. Later on, I'll tell you how to work. But I think the how the timeline looks like, right? I will uh, go into the external booklet. Yeah. So you can look into the external booklet here or you can look to my screen. How the timeline looks like right now is we will going to go into um the announcement, which is like the communication here. Yeah, I can see right now it's like on 14. We're down scaling to commission IGB and OGB at the same time. And then 15, 16, 17 is where we also will get the feedback and waiting like it's also for the alignment between OGB and IGB. Same thing, I think right now we can give like, any suggestion of feedback. And after that, we'll kickstart the event, uh the campaign by next week so that we can rush uh our so-called to actually support on the attraction. And then competition, competition will actually launch by here and people can start to submit their stories and also their video. And then they will get their points based on how much story they submit up. So but similar is that they will submit through, ref if they're able to get you registered through the ref referral link, they'll get one point. And the like and share in the submission post, we get one point as well. And also 15 points for the video submission. So after that, we we'll actually post accordingly to my official page. And then until the end, which the deadline to deadline of competition is um, nine, which is that we have this campaign run for three weeks. Yeah. So I think the very, very main part that I need support from all of you all is to really try to push the ambassador because first thing first, I think um we can get their stories to actually um share it as material to get attraction. And also we will actually categorize them based on the value proposition. For example, like based on maybe this might be actually share about impact. This might be actually share about the development. This might be actually share about the improvement or confidence. So we categorize it based on the value proposition. And then you all can bring that value proposition based on what your market need and then bring that to promote it in your own local channel. Second thing is, we're going to utilize mainly on the video submission to do video marketing, which is going to create like video content where you're going to use that content as your main attraction point to get, like it's like a video IG views like or a short video to get attract to attract your customer to become your leads. So yeah, I think that's a very quick uh things. So if you are very clear with the event, then you can put down um roughly your participant goal in the slide 41. Or if you really couldn't put down here, I would need you all to actually align with your IGB, then you can put down after that. But if right now I think you need to uh you can put a very rough number first up. And also you can put down your question if you have in slide 42. Yang Jun, uh, yeah. for this be inspired campaign, uh, uh, are we only focused for the current, uh, the the summer LV or the past one also? Made? Because I, the for the previous one, we already mentioned to them about this be inspired campaign, and if let's say they join, then, uh, how can we do the communication with them so that they wouldn't be, be uh, they won't feel like doing this again is a very redundant action to them. I see. We never think about that thing, to be honest. I think, thanks for bringing that up. I think the main the main target that we're looking forward for is the summer, uh, yeah, the previous, like the most recent one. But if you really want to get the very, very past one, I think uh, it's more on whether, I, I think the part that actually can get is, yeah, it's still the main thing is like, if you can see the award for completion is first thing first, they will get personal running because of, they're able to showcase themselves professionally in 
um, they actually participate these things before. Second thing is on the my B merge. Definitely it's not something very, very attached to them, like something very fancy as this, but we say it's more on a brand that we want them to showcase that they really think that this journey can be a uh, experience for me to actually um like it, it's like a memory for them. Uh, so it's like might be much for them to actually really uh be proud of they actually participate in our product. Yeah. So I think it's still like more on the this is the two things that we can give to them. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can bring these things to Cat, see whether is there any other message I want to bring out to the very past one or whether uh, we allow. But I think from my perspective is they can promote now if I'm mistaken because it doesn't bring any harm also. Yeah, if you can send away, uh, uh, not to send away, if you can put down your participant goal here, if you are cool, then or also put down any suggestion or feedback that you have towards the campaign. Yeah, because I think uh, we need every LC together to launch this campaign together so that it is effective to boost the outreach and also to increase the lead sum. And also it's like how you can utilize this campaign to boost your own attraction in your own LC local site as well. Yeah. Any 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 win summer yes this year? No, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this session I think was very fast. For slide 15, same as usual, remember to let them to to uh re remember to update for the uh each things inside the uh your approved tab. And I if not mistaken for I remember one director asked inside the group that whether you can like add for any things or like follow some IGV things one. Uh, actually you can one. Uh, but make sure like the formula will be not not uh don't have like any mistake and also uh just based on you like, because like uh your, your the approved tab is like your LC you you your LC can just like change by itself what but do uh like add on for any columns like that one. Like. So for slide fifty one. Uh, for this one, for MPN checking, I will try to check in within uh this two days. Yeah, latest by Thursday, I will be done for the checking. Yeah. Uh, and also, please take note that like if your LC is already end for the realization, remember to submit for this MPN checking. If no, your MIP is like cannot get for certificate. Yeah. So remember, remember, remember to uh to let let uh let the my manager to change for the status if ready prepare for the checking lah. okay so i think that's all for the complete management okay q a okay if you are cool you can send away yeah thanks john Thanks, Andrea. We're from Vicky, we're from Amanda. Okay, so in case that you very very not clear, feel free to approach Cashion because he is still the EST. Yeah, he is still the EST for summer and winter. So uh I think after that I'll go over a quick announcement before I go to the very yeah, you know, the part. So I think first part, Cashion you can continue. Huh? Uh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I just not forget to mute. So for this first part, for the subcore representative currently left for help, UM, Yuta, and TU have an update for the uh, for the status that whether the subcore representative already up inside the the master tab or not. So remember, if you haven't haven't update the subcore representative, remember update inside the tracker because I need to start the discussion for that tomorrow already because this one is already dragged for two weeks. And next week should our start come already lah. So you don't want to track for any progress, remember to update inside there. And for coaching is like uh because the previous that the column is don't have at them, uh, so uh you just update there. Lah. So you can just update inside the newest one because like for previous uh for the last commission collection, uh I already like copy copy all the response into to, to the this uh to this commission collection 
tracker there. Lah. So you just, uh, for the LC that you previously already update, you don't need to update inside the call to action tracker again. Lah. Yeah, so for, for the LC that haven't remembered to update inside, lah, so I can know that uh, you already sent the representative. If no, if like, because like tomorrow I confirm need to uh, uh, start a discussion. So if like, your your representative not involved inside the discussion, if like after we determine or we set the subcom time, suddenly one people come out to say cannot, it will be like uh, very uh, many trouble. Lah. So try uh, remember, not try, remember to update uh, within today. Lah. Okay, so I, I will pass back to Lamjin. Okay, cool. So right now, yeah, other than that, the announcement, the exciting part. So I think just now I don't bring out a PNG, yeah, there's a purpose I want to push people to go because I think, yeah, the bad thing for me is I'm not, yeah, I'm not from PNG. I applied PNG before and I feel right now I couldn't apply. I want to apply, but I couldn't because I'm in the one year, um, when I fail already, I need to wait until one year I'm making apply again. So sad. That's why I think I want to push this opportunity for you all. If you are actually looking for any internship or actually um working opportunity, even though right now you are studying, you can feel free to join this um CEO in you. It's one of the opportunity for you all to understand more on the PNG uh how's the working environment and then understand on deeper on what is the role that you are doing so that you can get to understand how can you make an impact while you're actually doing your career. And I think I would say that culture is very, very similar to Isaac, if you're really addicted to Isaac or what, yeah, this is the opportunity. So if you're not interested, I mean, not to say not interested, I, I need you to actually push this opportunity to your membership as well, because uh, it's a long-term partnership that we are forming with PNG, and I think it's very important for us to actually get Isaac, they believe in Isaac, uh, they believe in the high quality Isaac to be part of us. So we want to push this opportunity to Isaac. So yeah, hey, it's the agent. I uh, yeah, don't say like this. Okay, so I think we go into the next one, which is right now WNC OC application is open. So feel free to, I think it's also, okay, another story. It's also one of the experiences I am looking, I very regret for not buying because, okay, I was an OC before in my ODS 2019, but I only experienced halfway as the marketing executive and then I resigned because of that time I couldn't handle and I become proxy VP because my VP go to internship. Then I ha don't have a full OC experience, but this is what I really lacking of. I experience every single role except for OC, except for conference of OC. Lah. So if you think that you want to make physical conference happen, you're interested in making this thing happen, feel free to join. So if you think that maybe you're definitely not going to become the team leader, you're not going to uh, apply for LCP. For those people who want to apply for LCP, yeah, you don't need to think about this thing. But if you're not, you want to make, um, enjoy Isaac culture and making conference happen, this is the great opportunity for you. Yeah. Okay, another another story. And last last thing is, NLC is happening soon. And I'm sure that you already experienced my audience. And then that's why also you can see that people actually have those, those cost, um, post-conference syndrome, they have very high momentum, all those things, right? But I think that's the powerful part of Isaac, uh, Isaac conference because of, we have a lot of culture and they have a lot of things that are able to increase relevance of that membership. So I think uh, right now, I think registration is already open, but if not open, you can find it. I need you all to really push or uh, to share your conference experience to let them to aware on why is it uh, conference experience is very, very precious for you and you want them to experience the same thing as well. Yeah, try to empower them, not to say that, yeah, this is something that you can compulsory attend, but to empower them to be part of the journey because I will say that like, if they join conference already, it's the magic that they might become your successor, who knows, or become a director. But this is something that is usually happen, uh, especially for my audience. People who join my audience, they will apply for higher one, confirm. Like me, I will join already, I apply for LCP. Yeah. So really, really push this opportunity to your members, right? So I think that will be the things that I want to bring the announcement. And I think right now we will not go into the Q and A, um, the feedback or whatever things yet. So we'll go into the last part. Uh, so sorry for delaying. I think I need around 10 more minutes. Is it around okay? Cool, right? Yeah, we'll do with the summer EST closing. So right now, not every EST is here. I think there's two EST. It's the, the old EST and also the new EST, which is Kaishan and Cat. So I think I will introduce the new EST in next commission. But it's fine. Right now, we do a summer EST closing first. 
So yeah, hi some OGB ESD team. Imagine right now it's like the whole entire team is here, not only these two guy, a uh, guy and girl. Yeah. So right now the whole entire team is here, and I think just a very quick review on here is like we have this is like the summer summer achievement that we have achieved. No, regardless that you are actually apply, accept, uh, like regardless you are content specialist for cat, regardless you are like sales and CXP for Kaishen or any other role that other LC are holding on. Oh wait.